हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ अश्विनी सवाल एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द कोर्स दैट इज अ कंप्यूटर एप्लीकेशन इन दिस कोर्स यू विल बी एबल टू लर्न अबाउट द बेसिक्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर सिस्टम एज वेल एज द एप्लीकेशन विच आर अवेलेबल इन द कंप्यूटर सिस्टम ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वील सी द इंट्रोडक्शन टू द कंप्यूटर सिस्टम इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द टॉपिक्स विच आर रिक्वायर्ड टू गेट द नॉलेज अबाउट द कंप्यूटर सिस्टम so in this uh, we'll see first the definition of the computer system so the computer system is de defined as combination of components which are designed to process data and store files once we store a particular data in our computer then we can further just use that data we can read that data we can uh, make any kind of modification in the data as per the user's requirement Okay. then there are main three components in our uh, computer system in the figure you can see there is a user there is a software and the hardware okay these are the main three uh, components of the computer system without which that computer system cannot be fully functional this computer system is a collection of entities that is hardware software and the users that are designed to receive process manage and present information in a meaningful format that means if the user is giving any kind of request any kind of command to the computer system so that computer system has to receive that request that command and next it has to process uh, that input and manage inside uh, the computer system and then present the information that will be the output of the request from the user so that will be easily understandable by that user so that that particular output must be in a meaningful format okay next the components are elaborated that is the uh, first one is a computer hardware then software and the user so hardware are nothing but what these are the physical or we can say the tangible parts tangible that means we can feel that particular thing or we can touch that particular thing so these are hardware components of a computer for example the input devices like uh, the uh, keyboard mouse output devices like the monitor speaker as well as the central processing unit and some storage devices which are what the computer hardware components next component is the software component so these are also known as the programs or applications that runs inside that computer system and which are intangible that means we can't touch those particular components of computer system next the very important component that is the user which is the user is uh, the one which sends the commands the instructions to the computer system to uh, process its request okay then next we'll see the uh, what exactly the computer hardware is so hardware refers to the physical tangible com uh, computer equipment as well as the devices which provide support from major functions such as input then processing uh, the particular data or whatever the data is given by the user then output secondary storage and communication so in that input there will be some input devices that will provide the input to the computer system then computer system will process that data that request as per the requirements of the user then after processing that request the computer system will provide the output to the user then there are some secondary storage secondary storage like the cd dvd drive then pen drive these are what we can externally attach to that computer system okay that will store the data and some communication devices are also there which are part of the computer hardware in this figure we can see there are several computer hardware devices uh, few of you uh, few of these you might have already seen like the printer is there then portable media a player is there okay then uh, this uh, central processing unit in this the storage devices like this cd dvd drive then hard disk drive then there is a one a personal computer is given in which there is a monitor which is output device then webcam Uh, then there is there are speakers okay then keyboards mouse then microphone then uh, there's um, pen drives card readers usb flash drives then modem which is also a communication drive so in this figure you can uh, find many examples of the computer hardware that that are mostly uh, most oftenly used by many computer users 
the computer hardware is a collective term which is used to describe any of the physical component of the computer. So, this term hardware which distinguishes itself in the tangible aspects of the computing devices from software. So, hardware and software these are totally different things hardware that means these are tangible or the physical things while software are the logical things which consist of a return machine readable instructions or the programs that tell the physical components what to do and when to execute the instructions. So, that means in that particular computer hardware there are some programs some uh, machine readable instructions which are already fitted into that computer hardware. So, that will process that input according to the request. Hardware and software these are complementary that means without uh, any one of these component the computer system cannot be fully functional okay, or it cannot be complete. So, computing device can function efficiently and produce useful output only when both hardware and software work together appropriately then only we can say that computer system is in a working process ok. So, computer hardware can be categorized as being either internal or external components. Generally, these internal hardware components are those necessary for the proper functioning of the computer while the external hardware components are attached to the computer to add or enhance the functionality. That means, these internal hardware components are already there in your computer system while the external hardware devices we can attach to the computer system as per our requirement. Next, let us explore what exactly the internal computer hardware components are. So, internal components collectively process or store the instructions delivered by the program or operating system. So, these includes uh, some components like the motherboard. Motherboard, this is a printed circuit board that holds the central processing unit and other essential internal hardware and the functions ok that is fitted in the in, in the uh, central processing unit of your computer. Then the central processing unit. So, the uh, CPU is the brain of the computer that processes and executes digital instructions from various programs. Its clock speed determines the computer's performance and, effic and efficiency in a processing data. The next component is the RAM that is random access memory ok. So, that is also called as a dynamic RAM. It is a temporary memory which is uh, used to store the data that makes the information immediately accessible to the program. That means, whatever the data is stored in the RAM that is random access memory which will be easily accessible to the user. This RAM is a volatile memory, volatile uh, that means that can be cleared when the computer powers off that will not be stored permanently. Next the hardware hard drive ok. So, hard drive uh, are the physical storage devices that store both permanent and the temporary data in a different format. So, for storing this hard drive have two options that is permanent data storage and the temporary data storage and the last one is the heat sink that manages or reduces the amount of temperature for the particular uh, uh, CPU to process or to um, function it properly. So, this is a passive piece of the hardware that draws heat away from the components to regulate or to reduce their temperature to help ensure they continue to function properly. There are three main hardware components in a computer system that is the input, storage and the output. First of all, we learn about the input devices. So, in this particular topic, we will see the example uh, each of particular uh, input devices. So, these devices are used for entering data or instructions to the central processing unit that is the CPU and are classified according to the method they use to enter the data. That means, how the user is going to provide the uh, particular enter the data whether with the help of entering keys or by pressing the mouse keys and so on. So, first of all we will see the input device is the keyboard. The keyboard is the similar to the typewriter there are some keys with the help with, a, with the help of which we can uh, access the computer system and is the main input device of the computer. So, it contains three types of keys in it that is alphanumeric keys, special keys and function keys. 
So, in this picture you can see the keyboard. So, in the keyboard there are three types of keys as we have seen in the uh, previous slide. So, these alphanumeric keys are used to type all the alphabets, the numbers and the special symbols, special characters like the dollar, percentage, at the rate and the uh, alphabets. Okay. Then special keys such as the shift, control, alt, home, scroll lock, these are used for performing the special functions on the computer system. Next, the third type of keys are the function keys like the F1, F2, F3, etc., which are used to give special commands depending upon the software which is used. That is, for example, F5 reloads a page of an internet browser. So, the, with the shortcut key, we can reload, that, uh, reload our browser page. So, the function of each and every key can be well understood only after working on a PC and any key is pressed and electronic signal is produced and that signal electronic signal is passed to our computer system and according to that it will process whatever the input or request is coming from the user and provide the output on the monitor. The next type of input devices are the pointing devices. So, these are devices that enter data and instructions into the computer using a pointer that appears on the screen. So, with the help of that pointer, we are going to give the commands to the computer system. The items to be entered are selected by either pointing to or clicking on them. For example, the mice, the joystick, uh, touch sensitive screen track balls etc. These are examples of the pointing devices. So, the example of the pointing device is the mouse. A mouse is a small device used to point and select items on your computer screen. So, with the help of that pointer, we can select any item on your uh, monitor. Okay, We can just click on that and we can just uh, browse that particular item. A mouse usually has two buttons that is a primary button, usually the left button and the secondary button which is on the right hand side of our uh, of the mouse. Many mice also have a wheel between the two buttons which allows you to scroll smoothly through the screens of information. Okay, That will be helpful for going up and down. Okay, Next in this figure we can see the position of our hand with the mouse. Okay, So, the palm on the base of the mouse. So, in that position we have to hold the mouse while using the computer system. Then thumb on the right uh, on the side of the mouse then the pointer or uh, that is your first finger on the left uh, button of the mouse and the middle finger on the right mouse button. The next type of input devices are the scanning devices. So, these are the devices that capture an object or the document directly from the source. So, they are classified according to the technology used to capture data. For example, the scanners and the document readers by, by scanning those particular images or those documents, we can get that electronic copy of that particular documents. So, the example of the scanning devices are the scanners which are used to capture a source document and it converts that document into an electronic form. For example, a flat uh, bed and the handheld scanners. These are examples of the scanners. In this uh, figure also we can see there are various types of scanners like the all in one scanner, flat bed scan scanner, drum scanner, handheld scanner which is uh, used to scan the barcode. So, the scan uh, scanners convert printed data or the images into an electronic data format that a computer can store or process as required. So, the scanned data can be stored in our computer system and uh, whenever required we can uh, just uh, read or we can just um, use that particular data. A scanned image can be saved, it can be modified and even emailed as you would with any other kind of file. Okay. Next example of these scanning devices are the barcode readers. Uh, most oftenly, we can see these kind of barcode readers in the uh, mart shopping malls. Okay, whenever they just use these barcode readers on a particular item, so the details about that particular uh, product will be displayed on their computer system. Okay. Next, we'll learn about the output devices. 
ओके सो आफ्टर द इनपुट डिवाइस इज अनादर इम्पॉर्टेंट कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ द कंप्यूटर सिस्टम आर द आउटपुट डिवाइस दैट डिस्प्लेज द आउटपुट टू द यूजर विथ विच द यूजर कैन इंटरैक्ट विद द कंप्यूटर सिस्टम सो द आउटपुट डिवाइस आर लाइक मॉनिटर प्रिंटर स्पीकर्स हेडफोन्स प्रोजेक्टर टच स्क्रीन्स प्लॉटर एंड जी पी एस दीज आर सम कॉमन मोस्ट ऑफनली यूज एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ द आउटपुट डिवाइसिस सो एन आउटपुट डिवाइस इज एनी पीस ऑफ अ कंप्यूटर हार्डवेयर इक्विपमेंट विच कन्वर्ट्स इन्फॉर्मेशन इन टू अूमन परसेप्टेबल फॉर्म दैट मीन्स इट शुड बी इजीली अंडरस्टैंडेबल बाय द ह्यूमन बींग्स दे कैन इजीली रीड वॉट एवर इज देयर ऑन दी आउटपुट डिवाइस एंड इट फिजिकल मशीन रीडेबल फॉर्मेट सो बी डिस्प्लेड इन दैट पर्टिक्युलर आउटपुट डिवाइस सो इट कैन बी अ टेक्स इट कैन बी ग्राफिक्स इट कैन बी ऑडियो वीडियो example include like the monitors printers speakers headphones projectors gps devices and braille readers these are examples of the output devices next we are going to explore the storage devices which is the third important part of the uh, types of devices in the computer system so these storage devices are basically used to store the data that can be temporarily or the permanently so based on that we can just use that particular data whenever uh, whenever we require to uh, read or we retrieve that particular data so that store store data can be used uh, later so a storage device is a piece of a hardware that is primarily used for storing data every desktop computer laptop tablet and smartphone will have some kind of storage device within it without which we obviously we cannot uh, use that particular device so there are also stand alone external storage devices that we can use across the devices some external uh, devices we can uh, attach to that particular uh, computer system okay in this figure we can see there are various kinds of computer storage or memory devices which are used to store the data such as the hard disk ram rom CD or DVD drive, then uh, floppy, memory card, pen drive, and tape drive. Next, we are going to learn about the different kind of computers. That is the topic: modern computers. So there are various types of computers, such as micro computer, mini computer. personal computers which are also called as workstations super computers laptop tablet these are various kinds of computer systems so first of all we'll see what exactly the workstation kind of computers are okay so these are also called as personal computers so these workstation is a high performance computer system that is basically designed for a single user and has advanced graphics capabilities large storage capacity and a powerful central processing unit but it is designed for a single user only next type of computer is the main frame computer in this main frame computers are designed to support hundreds or thousands of users simultaneously that means at a time these number of uh, multiple uh, users can access that particular main frame computers they can support multiple programs at the same time it means they can execute different processes simultaneously applications of the main frame computers such as the healthcare centers field of defense field of education as well as in retail sectors these main frame computers are most oftenly used next type of computer is the super computers the super computers are the biggest and fastest computers they are designed to process huge amount of data a super computer can process trillions of instructions in a second that means within a second a large amount of data can be processed with the help of this super computers it has a thousands of interconnected processes in it that works simultaneously and process that data in, in in some milliseconds then there are some applications of the supercomputers the supercomputers are most oftenly used uh, in designing the flight simulators for the pilots diagnosis of various critical diseases smoke control system next the last type of uh, computer is the mini computers 
So, these mini computers are the computers which are smaller, less expensive and less powerful than a mainframe or the super computer, but more expensive and more powerful as compared to the personal computer. These mini computers are nothing but our laptops. Okay? So, mini computers were used for scientific and engineering computations, business transaction, processing, file handling as well as in the field of database management. Thank you students.